In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this ink drop animation. I'm going to leave a link in the description for the ink drop animation and the paper texture if you want to follow along. So let's go ahead and get started. So here I have the cover design, the ink drop animation right there, and the texture. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new comp. Let's name this main for the main comp. I'm just doing 1920 by 1080 and I'm just keep it at 130 for now click OK and let's go ahead and bring the texture down and I'm hit S for scale bring this down kind of like that hit R to rotate and I'm rotate it 90 hit S for scale again and let's do 25 and let's keep it at 25.5 just enough to fill up the screen now let's bring the cover down and I'm going to do S for scale, bring the size of that up, kind of like that. P for the position and let's bring it down, kind of center in like that. Now I'm going to select the ink drop and bring that on top of the cover design. All right, so that's good. Now I have the ink drop selected. And I'm going uh, to press the key for the letter O. That will go to the end of the keyframe, or the frame right there. Not the keyframe, but the end of the clip. I'm going to hit N. And it will bring the, the end there. And I'm just right click, trim comp to work area. So now we just have a clean workspace to work with. Now for the ink drop. I'm going to disable the audio for now. And for the ink drop, I'm going to invert it. So I want the drop to be white and everything else to be black. So I'm going to go here to the effect and preset. If you don't see it, just go to window. Make sure that's checked. Now I just type in invert. You can see it there. Drag that, drop it to the ink drop. And it's going to invert it. Now we just disable this. And let's go back to the cover. Here on the track mat, select the ink drop. And here on the mask, select that for the uh, luma mat. So it looks like the sun. And you can see the effect is already taking place. Now all you have to do is select all three. I'm hold shift. I'm going to do Control Shift C, or you could go here to the layer, select the precompose. But I like using shortcut. And I'm going to name this, um, let's name it Ink Drop for now. And make sure you select the Move All Attributes into the new composition. Click OK. Now I'm going to hit S for scale, create a keyframe. Let's go to the end of the keyframe and let's bring the size of it up kind of like that. So now it has this zooming in effect like that. And the cool thing too is um, see how his hat right there is kind of um, not showing up. So all you have to do is go back here to the just double click that and it'll go into the comp. And say right there, right? So select the ink drop. I'm gonna hit S for scale, bring the size of it up just a little bit. And I can move it around to a place that I like. Maybe right there. Now we'll go back to the main. Click on play. It has a zoom in effect. And you can see his hat now. So that's how you create the uh, ink drop animation. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments.